Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our shoulders and triceps with a little bit of core work. First thing, I'm going to start off with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side to unlock the mobility of my entire body for today's workout. So, I always do recommend to do this particular stretch pre-workout, but if you choose to do other kind of stretches, that's absolutely fine. Any of the dynamic stretches which ensures that you unlock your entire body is absolutely good to go. You can also do this particular stretch right after waking up or before going to sleep five times just to ensure that your body stays unlocked. You don't have to hold any of these stretches for more than 10 seconds. Five seconds hold is absolutely enough. Post completing my greatest stretch, I move on to my deep squat the mandatory deep squat for the day ensure you hinge forward by pushing your glutes as far behind as possible and once hamstrings are stretched you bend your knees and go into the deep squat and stay there for 5 to 10 seconds feeling the stretch in your thighs and the stretch happening in your calf muscles post that before I start with my shoulder work I have done beer crawls 10 repetitions simply stand straight forward and then bend touch the floor and start crawling forward once you have reached the end got into a plank position or a push-up starting position crawl back and repeat it for 10 times you may take a break in between every two or three repetitions if you feel tired or if you feel a little bit of imbalance you can always bend your knees if you're feeling that you're losing your balance, you can also do it all the repetitions with bent knees. That's absolutely fine. I'm comfortable doing it with my straight knee. So I'm doing it that way. This particular exercise ensures you get optimum compression in your shoulders and gets it ready for all our shoulder based workouts. Post completing my beer crawls, I moved on to my first exercise, which is front traces with a barbell. Now the reason why I'm doing it with a barbell is because the cable crossover machine was occupied but I wanted to quickly progress or go on with my workout so I chose to do a barbell based front race. Now as you can see in the video I always make sure the barbell goes absolutely straight down and straight up without much of involvement of my biceps. Keep your elbows locked in a comfortable position. I'm using a preloaded or fixed weight barbell you might you may need if you don't have these particular ones you need to load your barbell you can use the same weight for all repetitions or do progressive overload i have done five sets of this with 10 repetitions 45 seconds rest in between now make sure you always raise the barbell eye up above at least it should cross your eye level and it comes down all the way down try to control the eccentric motion as much as possible and uh, that gives you an optimum amount of stretch and try to go high as high as possible not completely straight up high but cross your eye level that gives the maximum contraction for your front delt now while doing this particular exercise you might feel a little bit of instability if your core is not strongly withstanding so you can take a wider stance at your feet but otherwise you should be fine do this particular exercise standing because while seated the motion is cut into half Post completing my friend dealt work, I moved on to my triceps. For triceps, I have done the overhead tricep extension while lying down. As you know, it's a variation of the skull crushers, but unlike skull crushers, we take our arms way beyond our head and keep the barbell always beyond our eye level and start throwing the barbell into the air. Not literally, but the motion of throwing the barbell into the air. That's how we extend our elbows completely and getting maximum tricep contraction you can start with a challenging weight stay there do it for all your reps or drop the weight as you get fatigued or tired or you can also choose to do a progressive overload absolutely up to you but make sure the weight you're starting off is challenging i would always recommend to start with the heaviest weight possible because as fatigue kicks in it's better to drop the weight than to try to progressively overload and not be able to move much more weight than you are actually capable of 
45 seconds rest in between is more than sufficient. Now, since again, I have these fixed weight barbells at my disposal, it took me less time to shift from one way to other when required. But for you, it might take time in terms of loading the barbell or unloading it. So consider that in your rest period. Make sure you take the barbell all the way beyond your head and then keep it beyond your eye level always maintaining the stretch in your triceps and from there extend your elbows as high as possible if you feel tired or for some reason you're unable to bring it forward you can obviously release your grip and drop the bubble behind your head and you'll be absolutely fine for my next exercise i chose to do face pull i know it's a pull based exercise on a push day but this is something which works my posterior chain really well and i'm still a bit tired from the last ray delt exercises which we have done so i chose to do kind of a complex or a compound movement for my back wherein not only my ray delts but my mid trapezium and upper trapezium are also at work i'm not isolating the ray delt much i'm giving enough amount of time for them to recover i've done three sets of these with 12 repetitions one thing is important make sure always the cable is at your eye level and you as you pull it towards your face bring the cable as close as possible even touch it with your nose or your forehead drive with your wrist not with your elbows the elbows will come they'll stop and then with your wrist try to get the extra but a bit of squeeze behind keep the weight challenging enough not too heavy that you are unable to pull it forward for my next exercise i'm doing cable lateral raises one arm at a time now you can do both arms also like i have done earlier but today i wanted to do one arm at a time try to isolate and focus on the arm with every repetition because when you're trying to do both arms at a time i have noticed that my upper traps kick in a little bit when the weight gets heavier or when i start getting tired so i'm doing one arm at a time to focus a lot more only on the uh, lateral delt working now I've done 12 repetitions for each hand, 3 sets with 45 seconds rest in between. Here I'm using both the uh, ends of the or the, both the attachments of the cable crossover machine since it was not quite busy. But you can, you can do away with just one by standing beside it instead of in front of it. While raising the cable, try to go as high as possible. Since it's a cable, there's a constant pull. Unlike a dumbbell, it doesn't end. The strength curve or the pull curve is different here. It's constantly pulling you down and also never rest the weight completely. So as your arm goes down behind you, the cable is still pulling your shoulder, creating a stretch. And as you pull it back up, you have the maximum amount of contraction happening. Don't let the weight ever sit down during the repetitions. The break in between the tricep and the shoulder exercise need not be much. If you can, you need not take a break at all because two different muscles which we are working on. So you can save some time there. This entire workout should hardly last you 45 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes. If you have done any more of dynamic stretches, hardly, maybe another 60 minutes, not more than that. With the calculated amount of breaks we take. Yes, the most amount of time it would take you is to load the barbels. But if you have a cable crossover machine free for the front delts, you don't even have to use a barbel. You can do it with the uh, cable itself, the front raises too. I have done that earlier in my earlier shoulder workout video. Post completing my lateral raises, I moved on to my core work. Here for the hanging leg raises, which I often do, I have recently learned this help so to ensure get better contraction in my core is basically do it on the rack machine which does have the pull up uh, attachment so hang at the pull up attachment put the barbell at a height just behind your upper back with cushioning and then start doing the leg raises what does this do this ensures that we don't swing much the contractions are really good and also there is no leakage of energy. You can keep your body a lot more tighter with the support available behind you. As you can see, I was able to get clean repetitions. So three sets, 10 repetitions with 45 seconds break in between. The 
main part is to bring your knees as close to your head as possible while your butt cheeks turn in front of you and that's it for today we are done with our exercises we complete off with a decompression 10 circles of our shoulder now while you were hanging and doing the leg raises our shoulder was also decompressing our triceps were at a stretch so we technically have done a bit of stretching there but yes it is important to decompress your shoulders after all the shoulder work we have done if you did like this video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel do subscribe if you have any kind of feedback please do drop a comment i would definitely respond to it thank you so much for watching the video i hope this work along video has helped you i will see you in the next video have a good day